This week has been an exciting week for us as ActionAid Uganda as we introduced the SPA2 program to our partners, Vijanako, uh, Mempro Uganda, and Kota. Uh, these are young people focused and young people led organizations. It's very exciting for us because ActionAid thrives through partnerships, but specifically because of our focus, our deliberate focus on the work of young people. And this program now introduces a whole beautiful element to the work that we've already been doing with young people where we're extending our reach to the humanitarian space and we have a young people led organization in that space the specific uh, focus of this program is going to be around young women's leadership in the humanitarian space protection and resilience in fragile contexts we are also going to be looking at young people's democratic participation, uh, specifically looking at their involvement and participation in planning processes of governance. And I love the fact that there is already a correlation between what our global platforms are doing in terms of feminist leadership and what our partners are bringing on board. And also I look forward to seeing our digital approach to this work and how we are going to take this work to the world and learn from our partners from other countries and also learn from other partners that are doing exciting work in Uganda around young people. I'd also like to thank Action in Denmark and Danida, our founder, that is supporting this program, not just in Uganda, but in over 10 other countries around the world that are having interventions around young people offering alternatives, just uh, feminist and resilient alternatives through this work. I cannot wait to see for sure what alternatives exist in Uganda and what exciting innovations that we're going to, you know, discover throughout this four-year journey. So thank you so much. And to the young people in Uganda, we cannot wait.